as long as we are here in this dimension, as long as we are living in this temporary human existence, we are ever changing, same as the whole universe around us and inside us. Every moment of this journey brings us the opportunity to experience a new version of ourselves. No matter that we are trained by the society to keep our perceptions chained to a frame from our past which cannot define us in our present. Misland is the most complex and diverse animation project I have done to date, combining an improved level of graphic elements with fast motion film drawing and painting sessions, lots of technical tricks including chroma keys and so on. Due to the deadlines I had, the working process for Misland caught me in the most intense moment of my life. Exactly when, together with my wife, I was about to leave my country and move to the Netherlands. Initially it was very tough as I was out of space, surrounded by boxes and filled with chaos and the pressure of taking care of everything before the departure. The next steps of the working process were being completed in the Netherlands right after I set up a short-term studio as we were still not yet settled. So having all the gear reduced to minimum remind me somehow of the beginning of my career. I was forced to be more creative and uh, discover several technical inventions and improvements to my graphic and video style. The story of Mislad is enlarging this micro-ecosystem of constant change to the scale of a culture of a tribe. This tribe is living in a vast forest, so vast that they cannot see what is outside. There, the story of the main character is being born. We can see the moments of his life, from his childhood to his adulthood, and how the rights of that culture imposed upon him in order to become a proper part of that society. At one point, his inner voice takes a stand and our character feels an urge to find his real identity. He drops the mask assigned by the tribe and he leaves the forest in order to discover more. Beyond the limits of his culture, beyond the trees of his forest, he meets musicians and gurus of other cultures who tricking him, reprogramming his perception according to their own customs and needs. As the experience goes on, our character experiences different struggles while he tries to cut off the roots of the beliefs that were restalled. There are extremely dramatic moments in his journey, but he is not giving up. Towards the end of the story, our character becomes the initial kid he was, before cultural installation. And this kid has just one single idol, which is his inner voice. Misland ends with an epic scene where all parts of our character are being together. The observer, the soul and the body being all connected in the most intimate space as a perception free from influence.